morning folks and uh, welcome to the new term at Hull Community High School. Uh, we're delighted to get through to the October break. Now our objective is to get through to Christmas. Really the messages today are of a repeat variety. Um, firstly just to reassure you that all the Covid controls are still in place. That would include the masking, the one-way system, the staggered breaks, lunches and so on departures. So it's really very much about keeping our children as safe as possible from Covid and hopefully keeping the Covid out of the school. Can I again stress that masks are really needed on buses in the morning, uh, transport and of course in the local shops. Now I've got to say I'm just going to make a plea here about how we chat with your kids about the behaviour out in the streets and the local shops. We get an awful lot of complaints. To be honest I don't think there's a great deal of poor behaviour. I think though that people are very anxious about the Covid situation and even the sight of groups of youngsters together tends to people, make people very nervous and I think we're seeing some feedback from that. But please have a word with your children just to make sure that they're behaving as well as they possibly can when they're out about at great times, or lunch times rather, uh, during the day. Now one big message though that we should mention is the SQ exams. The SQ exams for National 5 will not take place this year. The hires will go ahead. And that means that all the assessments that we're doing throughout the year could count towards the final grades at the end of the year. Although the hires are scheduled to go ahead, there is no guarantee, so even those could actually be judged on the continuous assessment that goes on throughout the year. So please make it very clear to your children that every test that we do, every assessment, could be the ones that will lead to their final grade at the end of the year. And that is definitely the case with National 5, but it may even now be the case with hire, despite the fact the exam should go ahead. The higher exams are scheduled to go on a couple of weeks later than normal and we're waiting to hear exactly what the details of that are going to be. Now, beyond that, I think the other message I'd like to mention is the fact that the school is ventilated, so the need to wrap up with layers is really, really important. We're noticing the drop, the drop in temperature now, and as that temperature drops, it becomes even more important that our young people have enough clothes on every day to make sure that they're warm in the classrooms, which need to be ventilated to minimise the risk of COVID. Um, I would mention as well that our attendance was very good last term at 91.3%. We made a good strong uh, start back to school on Monday. Uh, we've attendance around about 94-95% and hopefully we can continue that um, throughout the term. Now the first tracking reports will be coming out. There's going to be tracking reports throughout the year. Given that there's no parents evenings, these reports are more important than ever. So please discuss the tracking report with your children. Make sure they're aware of what the positives are, what the negatives are. And as well as negatives, help them to work through that and to improve their performance in the classroom. Um, finally, I'll just mention that the Parents Committee is next Tuesday. A group call will be going out and there will be a contact detail on that uh, to get in touch with if you want to be part of that meeting. So, that's really the messages for the first week back. I'm sure there will be plenty more uh, coming in the weeks to come. And let's hope we have a really, really quiet, uneventful term and we manage to get through to Christmas without any major incidents. Thanks for listening. Bye just now. Thank you.